So here we are in the garden of this beautiful little medieval church in Transylvania, an inspiring place. Th this is something that is important to me, the place. I'm a Northern Irish artist. I live in a town called Bombridge, which is halfway between Belfast, the capital, and the border with the Republic of Ireland, sometimes called bandit country <laughs> because, because of the location, but a beautiful place nonetheless. It's a country full of myths and legends and stories and imagery, motifs and iconography. It's a, it's a place that can inspire you. I grew up with this and perhaps this is in my DNA, but I love to travel to places like this where I am inspired. I, I meet the people, I hear about their lives, I hear about their place and their history. And it, 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 this is where the energy comes from for my work. This project is organized by Carmen and by my friend Elizabeth who invited me to, to come and participate. The theme of the conference is face to face. It's a figurative uh, theme. So I came really with no ideas for what I would paint, but th this is normal for me to just, just arrive. So I arrived, I, I found a wonderful group of artists, all very different from me, all doing very different things. So I took the first couple of days just walking around, speaking with people, seeing their work, seeing the place. We had a, a beautiful tour of the church with Michael, who is the church creator, for, for lack of a better word, and a local historian. But what intrigued me was really the people and the, the houses and the, some of the kitsch <laughs> around the houses and the, the, the clothes of the people and their posture and how they moved and particularly some of the older people with their more traditional looking clothes. Not traditional, but, but slightly different from what I'm used to. So the, the, the main image that I settled on for, for this camp is an image of an old guy called Pariano. I discovered afterwards he is a, a good friend of the father of one of the other artists, Christian, who is here working alongside me. And he was able to tell me a little, a little about this gentleman. So that also encouraged my interest in him. I started with a fairly brutal canvas, a fairly brutal landscape. I wanted to start shortly after I got here and before I decided on the image. And it is, whilst it is beautiful, it's also a harsh existence for some of these people. Money is not plentiful, work is not plentiful. So I think, I think times can be hard and here in the winter, for sure, um, because of the altitude, it's, it's going to be a harsh environment. So I started to paint this harsh environment, really. I used um, black and silver, really monochrome, really very rough painting almost like a, a storm or a hailstones falling. Confident that whatever image I chose would be suitable for this because the whole environment appears to me like this. So when I settled on the image of Pariano, it was perfect. The, the, the gentleman fed it into what was my representation of his environment very comfortably. I tried to paint him with a, a sympathetic eye. Um, I think life has not been easy and he, he was carrying himself in a very dignified manner in the image that I was looking at. So I wanted to paint this gentleman with dignity and with, with empathy. I hope I have succeeded. I hope to be able to show the painting to him and I hope, I hope he will enjoy it. When I'm in the studio painting, a thought that I carry in my head is a, a thought that, that Aristotle gave that the job of an artist is not to create the likeness of, of an object, but the meaning of the object. Um, this for me is important. I, I can use a camera to capture the shape of an object in an instant. 
But as I as I was saying with Pariano, I wanted I wanted to make him a gentle person with affinity with his environment and the people around him. And I think this is what Aristotle is is getting towards when he says create the meaning of the thing rather than the rather than the, the shape of the thing. So I have tried to capture on this occasion I've tried to capture the nature of Periano, I will let you decide if that has been achieved. But this is perhaps also why I like old places like this and old objects. In the modern world, everything is kind of disposable. We can have, we in the West can have virtually everything we want. And when it's last year's color, we don't want it anymore. And our, our stars, our heroes, they have to create a new fashion every time they appear, but it is immediately thrown away. These old things from the prehistoric sites and even from these medieval churches, they were carried by the person for a lifetime. They carry the traditions and legacy of the person, so there is a meaning to capture. There is something that you can reach for and take from this object, so you can, you can do what Aristotle is suggesting. And in this church, there is, the, there is the bell, there is the tower, there's the shape of the church, there's the organ that they renovated, all situated in a beautiful garden, so full of color, full of sunflowers. What's not to love? We establish a, a network of friends who are other professional painters. So it's good for the practice of the artist to have these connections. We establish friendships that we take forward with us and memories that enrich our lives. They make life better. We carry them with us like little jewels and we have social media to, to carry on the friendships. Those are things that you take from, from every symposium or from every good symposium. And this has been a very happy symposium. Well-chosen artists who are gentle by nature who, who are easy to get along with and easy to befriend. They, they quickly became friends. I think everyone has quickly uh, become friends. I, I will also take away the mood of this place, which is different from where I have been before. Not so much in the affluent side of the town, but more in the other side of the town, where the architecture is scruffy and uh, the trees are broken and the shapes and textures and how the people sit in this landscape is interesting. And another thing I will take forward from this is the optimism and the, the confidence that I will see these people again, that I will, as I go uh, on my travels, I will bump into some of these people again and it will be nice to renew that contact because as you establish the longer, as the friendships grow and they establish, every artist is changing and growing. Just as I have grown here very, very slightly, a little, all of my friends will be growing also. So when I bump into their work, them and their works, five years from now, six years from now, seven years from now, their work will have changed and I will get to enjoy seeing my friends grow. What a pleasure. What a pleasure to see your friends grow alongside you. Yes? No, okay, okay. Is your wife? Sora, you Sora Louis. Wife? Mamma mia, Sora Louis. La femme, la femme. La femme. La femme. La femme. Good. Then I'm not going to go. Asta e o copilă mică. Dodică? Nu, ăla nu-i dodică tot. Ăla e imbre. Tu le jean. Tu le jean de village. Tu le jean de village. Sunt ici.